Yes, you're going to have problems. When we lived in Honolulu, uh, when those guys were down on Hotel Street, the number of police that were walking up and down Hotel Street was just absolutely amazing. Because they know that these guys were going to come in, they were going to drink too much, and they were looking for some other kinds of things. Were there any police down at Waikiki at the miniature golf? No. <laughs> you know, those guys could take care of themselves. You know, those guys probably even went to church on Sunday. You know? Whereas the guys down on Hotel Street, they probably didn't wake up until Monday. <laughs> okay? Now, <clears throat> why is it there? Why does, why does it develop? Okay. So here's the intellectual part. First of all, you have what's called the sex ratio is out of balance. The sex ratio is the number of men versus the number of women. Frontiers generally have more men than women. And the first women who are likely to be in some of those frontier towns are not likely to be um, what we would call savory. They would be women of what we might call questionable virtue. Okay? You know, prostitution is relatively old. You could go to ancient Greece, and they actually minted coins for if you wanted, uh, you know, you wanted to visit a prostitute. That coin would, in effect, tell you what what you want. Okay? Now, see, I, my wife's looking at me and he said, is he going to tell that story? And I said, I'm not sure if that's where we get the expression heads or tails. <laughs> it's true. Are you familiar with the uh, uh, Empress uh, Messalina? Claudius's wife? Okay. You know what her claim to fame was? She challenged the leading prostitute in Rome to a contest. Yes. And the prostitute said, I give up. You win. It's true. Okay. So it's not like prostitution is new. Okay. But... There is more prostitution when you have more men than you have women. Okay? We also discovered something else about the uh, late 19th century. The average age in which males married is late, mid to late 20s. When we got married, my present wife and I, uh, we were in our early 20s, and that was not unusual. In the 1960s, the average age for people to getting married were closer to 21 and 22. In this period, it's a little later, which means that men have an elongated bachelorhood. Okay. Um, that is a problem. Remember, the economy's changing. We're becoming industrialized. The extended family is not what it used to be. You might be out on your own. You might be in a strange town because you went to look for a new job. Okay? And remember, in many of the, most of the economies in the United States in that period, there aren't many jobs for women. And if a woman is on her own, how does she make a living? Whether you, you agree with it or not, for many women, prostitution is an economic decision based upon what do I need to do to make money. You know, one of my other areas is African history. It's not uncommon in, in Africa for uh, married women to be prostitutes as a way of enhancing income for the family. Which is why in much of contemporary Africa today, AIDS is so prevalent because 
AIDS in Africa is not a homosexual uh, disease, it's primarily heterosexual. Okay? Um, now, there's another thing that's going on. What is your environment like in this community? When I grew up in Weirton, we used to, to joke that there were three major establishments in downtown Weirton. Churches, gas stations, and bars. Same thing could be said of Steubenville or Mingo Junction. If you came out of number one gate at Weirton, right across the street was a bar. And you know, if you worked in the blast furnace or the open hearth and it was hot and it's the summertime, you're going to go cool off. In fact, one of those bars, uh, Mr. Dunn, was called the Steelers. Okay. Um, in fact, one of the bars uh, I think is still there. It's called the Columbia. It's one of those bars you go into and uh, you, you never get a glass to drink your beer from. No. No. You just drink it right out of the bottle because the top of the bottle has got to be fairly clean because that's where the cat is. Um, at the turn of the 20th century, Wheeling had, you ready, 199 bars. 199. Now, I did some investigation uh, when I discovered that. Uh, I looked at the bars per capita as a way of referencing uh, how a city like Wheeling would compare to like a place like Chicago which has a reputation of being a wide open town. Uh, at the beginning of the 20th century, Wheeling per capita had more bars than Chicago. Okay. Um, now, <clears throat> the problem with places like uh, prostitution is sometimes things get out of hand. And I have here uh, a facsimile of the Wheeling Intelligencer. Is that how they pronounce it? Intelligencer? Intelligence. I've always been amazed at that word again. Intelligence. <laughs> just, I'm just, sometimes I, 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 I'm talking. But anyhow, here's, here's, it comes from April the 9th, 1892. And this is the title. Another murder. Mrs. Frank Leslie shoots her husband in the head at a south side house of ill fame. <laughs> I love that, ill fame. Okay? The scene of a shocking tragedy early last evening. The sad end of a series of quarrels. She had shot him once before and was in jail for it. <laughs> okay? Now remember, this is April. This is the fourth murder in Wheeling in 1892, okay? And I'm just read you just a little bit of this. About a quarter before six last evening, Miss, Mrs. Mamie Lewis shot her husband, I mean, M M M Mamie Leslie shot her husband, Frank Leslie, inflicting a fatal wound. The ball entered the right temple, piercing the brain. Okay, and it goes on to, it took him a while to die, and so on. <laughs> oh, all the details. All the details. Here is what had happened. Um, Mrs. Leslie shows up at the door, and we're on 21st Street. 21st Street. That is about where the Maxwell Center is, somewhere down in that, in that area. Yeah, where the <laughs> And um, Mrs. Leslie shows up and is greeted by the madam of the house, a Mrs. Uh, Klein. I want my husband, she said. <laughs> he hears her voice and decides, I'm getting out the other door. <laughs> well, when he opened the other door, there was his wife. <laughs> Boom. Shot. Okay, um, and they go through this whole thing. It, but um, one of the interesting questions here, were they really married? You know, were, was this couple married or were they just living together? You know, a, a common law 